everyone and welcome to a brand new video if you're new around here i'm april i upload weekly videos every sunday at 6 p.m with things ranging from lifestyle fashion disney and everything in between so if you like the sound of that please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me but today as you might have guessed from the title i am doing a small business disney haul as you might already know or if you don't i am going to walk disney world again this year and i'm so excited i shall be vlogging it again if you haven't seen my ones from last year i will link them in the description below i've got a whole playlist of our whole 14 day trip that we did but i'm so excited to be going back and i of course needed to pick up a few things in preparation for the trip because no Disney trip is complete without some Disney outfits. There are so many amazing small book businesses that operate and have such amazing products that I just couldn't resist. So if this is your type of thing, continue watching and who knows, you may end up finding some things that you want to buy yourself. But yeah, let's get into the video. I will be sure to link all of the shops and the products that I will mention in this video in the description below if you do fancy any of them but I think the first thing I will do is go through some of the ears that I've picked up. I have got a few more on the way to me but they're not due to be um, delivered until the end of February so I will either feature this and feature them in another video or on my Instagram so be sure that you're following my Instagram that is where I'll be posting all of my Disney outfits and my preparation and also be sure to subscribe to this channel because there's going to be 14 or even more vlogs coming on the channel but yeah the first few items are going to be some ears from Magic Maker Ears and I'm pretty sure a lot of people already know about um the lovely lady that runs it but she creates the most amazing Disney inspired ears and the first pair that I picked up they, they have been um I think they're still available on her website but they are these Ratatouille Remy inspired sequin ears you've got the wooden spoon there and the little ears look like the little um Remy's ears but how amazing are these they're going to look so cool in Epcot and the French Pavilion Ratatouille is one of my favorite Pixar films and I absolutely love the ride we went on so many times so I can't wait to get some really lovely pictures with these and look the part going around the French Pavilion in Epcot and then the second pair that I got from Magic Maker ears are of course another Epcot um inspired ones and these are inspired by spaceship earth i absolutely loved epcot i knew it was probably going to be my favorite park but i just absolutely ended up falling in love with it and i couldn't resist getting a pair of these gorgeous spaceship earth inspired ones just put them on to show you how they look but how cool are these the only problem i'm going to have now is i know we're going to have multiple days in each park but i'm just going to want to wear all of these at the same time because I just love them all so much. These were really affordable as well. I think they were between 20 to 25 pounds, which given that they're handmade and kind of compared to the Disney ones, I think that's a really reasonable price. They're so well made. You can tell that these are gonna be really robust in the parks and everything. So I can't wait to wear these and be sure to look out for them in the vlogs and on my instagram with all my outfits but yeah they're the first two pairs of ears that i picked up so the other pair of ears i've got are actually in this little box that i'm keeping it, them in because they are a little bit more fragile than my other ears and i kind of wanted to keep them safe and everything so i'll probably take these to florida in this little box as well but these are really special ones they are from once upon a craft which i found on instagram a few people i follow um had theirs already so i kind of went off that and they are incredible i've got another pair of theirs coming um on their way to me they're star wars inspired ones i've now got a lounge fly uh, like um backpack so i kind of wanted to have the full outfit for when we're in may on in galaxy's edge on may the 4th again which i'm so excited about so i really wanted to look the part and everything um, so I'll put a picture of the Star Wars ones that I am actually getting and like I said I'll put them in a different vlog or um, on my Instagram but these are so beautifully wrapped and everything 
and I'm just absolutely obsessed with them. Now if you didn't know already, Disney is celebrating its 100th year and there's going to be lots of celebrations in Walt Disney World, um, Disneyland Paris and of course Disneyland in California. And I really wanted to get a special pair of ears and uh, yet again I've planned an outfit around these ears and I've got a t-shirt on the way as well. I, I might have to do another one of these hauls because I have been buying a lot more stuff from small businesses at the moment because I kind of wanted to support them. I realised my outfits last year, I wasn't absolutely happy with how I looked in some of them so I really wanted to put a little bit more time and consideration into what I was wearing this time, making sure I was comfortable but also looked look good. So these ears are for the 100th anniversary of Disney from Once Upon a Craft and I think you can all agree these are absolutely incredible. You had the choice of fully customising these so the different ears were different colours so the kind of the 100th celebration colours are purple and silver but I knew with the outfits I kind of wanted to wear I didn't really want purple in the ears. I wanted those to kind of be an accent rather than kind of the whole kind of thing but these are so comfortable I cannot wait to wear these all day because they literally don't feel like you're wearing anything at all and because they're kind of 3d printed they just look amazing I'm so obsessed with them I think these by far are one of my favorite pairs of ears and they may be seeing a different park at the end of the year that is all I'm telling you at the moment. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know what that means. But these might be coming to a different park at the end of the year. And I'm so excited. But yes, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I do have a very exciting announcement to make. I don't know when I'm going to make it yet. It might be filmed during our Walt Disney World holiday. But I'm so excited to share it with you. I will be vlogging this very exciting trip. But these will definitely be coming with me because I'm just absolutely in love with them. The silver kind of sequined bow, the hundredth um, kind of decorations, oh, I just love them. And again, super reasonable, so well made and so comfy. I am obsessed, I will definitely be buying more. I've got another pair on the way but I will definitely be my, buying more for once upon a craft because they are just so incredible. Now you'll have to excuse the next item, it isn't Disney but it is from a small business and it is related to our Florida holiday. If you didn't know we're going to Universal for the first time ever on this trip. We are so excited, Andy is a massive lover of The Simpsons, as am I, and I also absolutely love Harry Potter. I've got kind of my outfit for Harry Potter in the pipeline, I've got a t-shirt, I've just got to find like a skirt or some bottoms, but I, we are planning to go for like two, two and a half days, we've got a 14 day ticket so we kind of want to make the most of it and go for a few days because it will be our first time. And I of course had to find an outfit for Simpsons and I found the most incredible smock dress from a small co business called That's So Betty. I will link her in the description below and also put her handle on here. I am friends with her, she is so lovely, I'm hoping to meet her for the first time actually on this trip because we are kind of doing the same trip. But I saw that she had made this out of a duvet cover on the bottom and a t-shirt and I just could not resist getting it. It is absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to wear this in Simpsons land and meet the characters and just get some really cool photos. It looks incredible. I have actually done a reel of me styling this so I'll put a little clip on screen now. But it just looks so amazing. She's done such a good job and this is just going to be perfect for one of our days in Universal and it's a t-shirt on top so it's super comfy and super lightweight and obviously this is a vintage duvet cover so it's going to be really floaty and perfect for the spring hot weather in Florida but yes could not mention this when talking about a small business and 
you will most definitely be seeing a lot of photos of this and I'll of course show you what it looks like in the vlogs and everything but I just can't wait to go to Universal and wear this and see everything. Not sure if I'll be going on the Simpsons ride because I've heard horror stories about it but let's see. But yeah, absolutely love this and can't wait to wear it. So the last few items are all clothes and items from a um, really lovely owner of a business called Dis Tea Worlds. Like I said, I'll link that in the description below and also on screen. She sells the most amazing range of magical um, wizarding world all of the like kind of Florida and Disneyland Paris and Disneyland California t-shirts you would ever need and I actually placed quite a big order with her for her Boxing Day sale but I have also placed an order for some more t-shirts, one of them for my mum but I thought I'd show you the ones that actually did come already and then like I said the other things that I've ordered I'll probably end up doing another haul anyway. But I have been wanting to order as you can see, I've got a pile here. I've been wanting to order some of these t-shirts for so long that I kind of just bit the bullet and my outfits have kind of like evolved from um, ordering all of these. So the first one is a Sorcerer Mickey t-shirt that's got the little Sorcerer's Apprentice hat, the, um, his little hands and some stars. And this is going to go with my Sorcerer Mickey bag, lounge fly bag and I've got some ears on the way from another small business and I just can't wait to wear this and meet them in Hollywood Studios. It's just going to look so cool and it's a white t-shirt. I've got it in, I've got all of them in an extra large but one item that I'll show you anyway. But I just absolutely love this. I didn't really wear a lot of t-shirts when I went to Florida last year because I didn't really have a lot of kind of shorts or skirts that kind I kind of felt comfortable with wearing. But I've kind of looked at my wardrobe and stuff and I've been buying some things on Vinted in the sale. That's a great tip always buy kind of your summer stuff and your spring stuff in the sales around Christmas time because they're so cheap like I, could, I brought two skirts from next one was two pounds one was four pounds so you're getting your bargains the next t-shirt is from um is also a Disney World one and it's the Casey's World's Famous Order Up t-shirt which is of course the hot dog um, kind of like quick service in Magic Kingdom. Me and Andy absolutely ended up loving Casey's. We got their um, hot dogs a few times and I can't wait to wear this and get some cool pictures in um, Magic Kingdom. Again I got this in an extra large, such good quality. The t-shirts are like not too thick so I'm not going to get too hot in them but the embroidery on this is just absolutely incredible. Like the attention to detail is amazing. And then the last t-shirt I got from them is a Star Wars one which is cool and um, says join the resistance. And this will go with my lounge fly bag that I've got and the ears that I've got coming. So this is probably going to be form part of my outfit for May the 4th. Again, I just absolutely love it. The attention to detail on the embroidery is absolutely incredible. I just absolutely love it. And it's just such a cool t-shirt. And it's not too in your face because I've got a skirt that I wore last year that I want to wear with it again which is quite an impactful skirt so I kind of wanted something that was Star Wars themed but not too in your face with everything else going on and then the last item that I've got to show you in this haul is a sweatshirt now I don't wear a lot of sweatshirts I've got an ACDC one and a Nirvana one and I wore the ACDC one for my travel day last year I really wanted to wear like a Disney themed one but I didn't really have anything and when I saw this one I couldn't resist it I'll probably be wearing this on our pre-travel day or our travel day but it is this castle embroidered one that says the ha most happiest place uh, most magical place on earth call yourself a Disney fan April you can't even say it properly it's on this kind of like vanilla nude sweatshirt it's I got it in an extra extra large because I wanted it a little bit oversized because I'll probably be wearing it with leggings or something but this is super cosy super soft and comfy and I can't wait to wear this and like I said it's just such 
good quality i am absolutely obsessed with it so definitely check out dis t worlds for your all of your disney universal and disney and paris needs because she's got so many cool t-shirts and sweatshirts and dresses and everything on there so that is all i've got to show you for my small business disney slash universal haul. i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have seen anything that you liked in the comment section below i'd love to know and are you actually going to go and check out some of these small businesses because they are absolutely incredible they do such an amazing job at spreading the magic and creating some magic but thank you so much for watching until next week i shall see you later bye, bye.